We've come to the stage where we'll do strength exercises. All we need are either two bottles of water or two very light weights. The first exercise we're going to do is called the Cuban press. We will start with the palms facing the wall and from this position we will lightly raise our elbows upwards making an external rotation and return to the starting position. I recommend doing two to three sets of these with a dozen reps and a one minute break between sets. The next exercise is shoulder thrust. We'll place our hands at 90 degrees, gently push upward in a semicircle. We will never stretch our shoulders all the way up but lightly in a semicircle, one dumbbell towards the other. Dumbbells do not touch each other. Okay, the next exercise we're doing is called lateral to frontal fly. We work lateral, frontal lateral, and go back. Pay attention to my palms once more. The palms are face down. They are one against the other, and we are rotating them downward and return to the starting position. Okay, the next exercise, we will put our elbows right away at 90 degrees. From this position, we will go lateral, extend the elbow, return, and get the elbows back to the ribs. There we stretch, go back, and down. The next exercise we're going to do is external rotation where we still strengthen the rotator cuff. Put your left hand under your head. You can take two pillows or some elevation to avoid the pain in the cervical spine. We'll put the arm at 90 degrees. The elbow is exactly near the ribs and from this position we open it slightly outward. If you don't have a load, an external load, it's all the same. Of course, you keep a pillow under your head. You can work with the resistance of the arm. The combination we're going to have is lying on the floor with your chest down and your head resting on some elevation. So we lie down, place our forehead exactly on the pillow, and from this position, do lateral movements. After that, we turn our thumbs upwards and do the blade shrinkage. From the starting position, we touch shoulders with our palms. I'll make a 90 degree move. Push up, go back, and touch my shoulders again. At 90 degrees, I push up slightly and go back. If all these exercises are too easy, you can always put an extra load. The last exercise will be the letter Y. We will create the letter Y with our body and arms. From this position, the head is turned down. We raise our arms up, fold for two to three seconds, and return to the starting position. We try to join the blades as tightly as possible and go back down. The next exercise we're going to do today is internal rotation. We'll put our arm at 90 degrees again, and from this position, return it to exactly halfway. If this is too difficult for you, you can always help yourself with your hand up, but try to restrain it down without support. <laughs> 